welcome back to uh, Place of Exile, Escape from the Pit. Last time we completed the last ending of uh, the game, where we assassinated Impo Hawthorne, uh, which was a pretty, uh, pretty cool experience. Uh, it was, you know, it was kind of difficult, but uh, I think we managed to pull it off. We were teleported back here, and there's just a few things that we want to do before we um, leave Exile. One of those is to uh, finish the Crystal Cave quest. Uh, we still need one more crystal, so I'm going to have to go find that. Another thing is we never went in this uh, dungeon here. Uh, at least I don't think we did. Uh, the Rune Fort. So I thought, uh, you know, one last dungeon um, for time's sake. I mean, not really... Uh, again, it feels weird to still be playing the game after you have technically done all of the uh, main objectives. Uh, this might be the fort that... Well, I don't, I don't know, because I, I remember... Uh, Koth said that she destroyed a fort, but uh, we already went to that one. It, it, it was a different one, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not exactly uh, sure what, uh, what this dungeon really is. Uh, once upon a time, there was a fort of some sort here. However, some being of incredibly power, of incredible power, has raised it to the ground. Gigantic claw marks and solidified ribbles of once melted stone mark the wrath of a mighty beast. Well, that certainly sounds like a dragon, but we already had the dragon scroll and we never uh, came here before, so... One slim wedge of this wall is still standing. On it is the royal seal of the Empire. Strange. Okay, so... I guess this must have been the place that Koth destroyed. Um, this seems strange that we, we never came here before. Okay, they don't sound... Yep, that's kind of scary. Uh, although an eye beast is uh, not really... Not nearly as bad as uh, a, a Gazel, so... so. Again, I don't know what is in here because uh, I couldn't find any information on this from the guide or the hint book, so... I don't really know exactly... Uh, if there's anything of value in here. Uh, again, we do know... Well, we assume this is what Koth was, ta was talking about. But that's really all, all that we know. We're actually taking a decent amount of damage. On who? Well, Petra is. <laughs> Everyone else is uh, doing fine as usual. On who? I mean, uh, oh no, it's like the end of the series. I'm not, you know, it, it, end of the game. I'm, I'm not being as cautious with uh, mana use as I normally am. Although this is surprisingly annoying, though. But uh, we're getting there. It's just kind of a slow process. Petra just takes so much damage. Uh, go ahead and well, I don't know. Do a do a light heal. Wall. Okay, let's see if we can at least take down the, uh, the eye beast uh, There we go, it's finally starting to come, come together. What's well, like we're slow, I, I mean, that's probably, probably the, the issue, uh, is why this is taking so long. Uh. 
Okay, nice. And last one. Okay, there we go. Don't plan on making it any more potions. Uh, I think we actually literally made one potion this entire playthrough. Uh, which, you know, at least we made one. That's better than not making in any at all, but really did not take advantage of that system. Also didn't really make any poison either. I was thinking earlier that it would, it would it would be fun to uh is that friendly or might be you do like an all mage uh play playthrough I think that'd be kind of funny. There was a ghost hole barely visible in the shadows of the room. Too much light, too much heat, much heat. I couldn't hide. It caught me. It caught me. It had its revenge. The voice, it's barely a perceptible whisper. The serpent came for us, so strong, so strong. It brought flames. So hot, but so fast. I watched myself born, born, pain, boning. The ghost's pathetic whisper fades in and out. We took its skull, sacred skull, will protect protections. New fort, secret, control exile, cannot tell you. Okay. So that actually <coughs> confirms that this was indeed uh, Koth's doing that destroyed this place. Unfortunately, we can't go up there if he's just going to block the... Um... There we go. Okay. Guess we should get rid of the poison. On who? Yeah, we should have done this... Well, it, it's just confusing, though, because we already had the Dragon Skull. But we didn't come here, though, so I don't know why it wasn't here. There were many books on these shelves. They all got it away. The only thing of value left is a long wand someone left on one of the shelves. Okay, let's make sure we can actually pick it up. Yeah. Okay, that could be good. Inside the desk is a vellum scroll, which has remained very well preserved despite the disaster. It is a plan for some sort of underground fort. There is an interesting note in the corner. We must be careful of the giants. The fort is dangerously close. Fortunately, they have no way of crossing the chasm. Okay. Yeah, we definitely should have done this first. Um, because, like, that makes a lot more sense. Of course, they're talking about... Uh, Black Spiral and the Tower of Burials, uh, because that is pretty close to the Giant's Fort. And, uh... Of we already got past the Chasm by using the Orb of Thuaniel. Hmm. This really gives you an idea of how strong a dragon actually is, uh, that they can... Destroy an entire four fortress. Um, a lot, a lot of games don't give you a good in, in indication of like, I guess how powerful magic can actually be. Like, you know, I feel, I feel like this game does uh, in regards to enemies, but you know, we can't really manipulate uh, the environment. You know, we can't really destroy walls with uh, with, with magic or anything like that. Uh, Dragon's Dogma had a very um, cool magic system that had, like, really awesome-looking spells that really gave a sense of, uh, power. Um, that's really the only game that I can think of that actually also did, did magic somewhat, right? The largest building in the fort was heal. Whatever attacked the fort broke it open. Systematically exposed each room and blasted everything inside. And that's also something that makes dragons scary, is they're not only incredibly powerful, but they're intelligent as well. Which is a deadly combination. In the middle of the room, on an elaborate brass stand, you find a large crystal orb. The mist swirls inside it. Okay, let's uh, look inside. You stare deep into the mist. They begin to swirl faster, then change colors. 
Then, then we dissolve into an image. You see a mage, wearing rich black robes and bearing a staff tipped with a large diamond. He stares out of the orb at you, watching carefully. After a moment, he speaks. Ah, I was wondering when I would heal from this orb again. It would seem the loss of this fort is complete. Enjoy your victory. It will be brief, I promise you. Heal me now, Worms. I am Gar Garzard. Remember my name. One day, there will be war between us and you, and I will lead the army that disperses and crushes you. Remember what you have wrought. There will be war. Garzard waves his hand and the orb shadows. The mist dissipates gently into the air. Okay. Uh, I guess he's some sort of wi wi wizard of some kind. Now, what's interesting about this is I wonder... Because obviously this is after we uh, assassinated the Emperor. Uh, this might have been the same text, though, even if we came on be before. Because it does seem like he's talking about the loss of the fort and not necessarily the loss of the Emperor. Um, so he's saying that they are going to come down here and try to take, take us out. Uh, so what's interesting about that, though, is that, you know, this was the dragon. This, was, this wasn't even us. Like, not, uh, you know, really any sort of, um, anybody associated with, um, King Micah or anything like that. You know, this was just a dragon, but it seems like Garzo do doesn't really kill, and he just associates that any living creature in exile, you know, basically that, 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 that's the issue. Um, it's not just the dragons, it's not just us, you know, it's basically just exile as, like, a whole. Um... At least that's my interpretation. But I guess that maybe sets up the plot for the second game. But who, who knows, right? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen so many uh, snakes in this game before. Yeah, that actually might be it. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's like waddle, but I don't know if we can actually do anything with that. Okay, I think uh, I think that's it for this place. Um, wasn't really much heal, but uh, I think it solved its purpose of giving more background. And uh, it's pretty a cool location, so uh, we actually never... Let's see. Uh... Okay, but that does nothing now, so... Okay. I think that is possibly the last dungeon on the map that we have not done. I can't say that for certain, but I, I really feel like we've almost done everything in, in, in the game in terms of locations. Uh, so next in this episode is I'm going to go ahead and try to find the, the last crystal and then we can go back to Katra and uh, see you uh, about repealing the waterfall so i'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what this is and i'll get back to you guys Okay, that is the last crystal. Uh, so I assume that this was the one that we missed because um, I would have avoided this due to having to do the combat. So, uh, th which was convenient because I really didn't want to have to go back and check all of those individual locations. Um, so this makes me really happy. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, we have all six now, and uh, let's head back to Katra. We might have to fight these guys. But uh, I'll see you guys there. And uh, I 
thought I wanted to put this in because, uh, I don't know, it's sort of, um, I don't know if pi picturesque is the right word, but I just kind of imagine, like, you know, he's still in on this boat, right? And this is probably the last time that all party is ever going to visit, uh, Katra. Um, so I don't, I don't know, it's just kind of a strange feeling. Uh, I, I, I get sentimental about, about, about things. Uh, and we actually don't even need to go inside. I don't know why I went inside. We actually need to just, um, go to the waterfall, so... Anyway, it's way up here, which, if we actually count this, right, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Supposedly, this is, this waterfall is like 11 miles away. That's quite uh, the journey. Uh, I do want to check something, though. Uh, I'm not trying to make this take too long, but... Uh, I want to see... If this changes once we repeal it, if the description changes, it probably won't, but I just wanted to make sure. And read it uh, before we repeal it. The sight before you takes your breath away. This large hidden cave is filled with large flawless quartz crystals, covering the floor and walls. They catch through your light and reflect it back in a blinding rainbow. The crystals hum and vibrate gently. The sound and motion is almost, but not quite, soothing. It's not hard to figure out what the problem is. It was a cave entrance, vandals have broken off a bunch of the crystals. The damage is interfering with the soothing effect of the crystal vibrations. You carefully place the six crystals back into the places, and they fuse back on. The vibrations turn soothing and energizing in a sudden and powerful burst, filling you with strength. After reaching a powerful crescendo, they calm down again, settling at a level that is merely pleasant. However, in the initial balls, they had a beneficial effect on you. Cool. And we, uh, suppo supposedly what that ga ga gave us was that every character got two strength. So Kodak is now at 20, Snizzle 17, 7, and 8. Uh, and it also gave every everybody 30 experience points. Uh, so... Uh, Art, uh, Petra actually made it to level 30, which is pretty cool. Okay, so before we, um, end the episode, I want to head back to a place we haven't been to in a very long time, but a place that we spent much time at in the beginning of the series. Uh, let's see, what did this say? I'm curious what this was. Okay, steel depressors that were great. <laughs> I want to head to Fort uh, Dov Dovno and level up. See, I'm trying to remember where the trainer was. Actually, the trainer might be in Silver. Yeah, Fort Dovno had the person who could identify items, which was this guy, the Sage. Let's see, his name was Warno. And we actually do have a few things we could identify, not that it matters at this point. Uh, the game is basically over with. Um, golden necklace, okay. I guess we could sell that. Okay. Okay, now let's uh let's level up. So actually we need to go down to Silver. Um is well that is located. Again, we haven't been here in a long time uh, as well. Uh where was the train on? I'm trying trying to think. It was this guy, I think. Okay, uh, again, this doesn't matter because, you know, it's, it's over with, but, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess let's just go for, uh, defense. Yeah, let's go defense. Let's try to actually spend all, all of our skill points. That would be kind of fun to do. 
Okay, uh, spill points. Uh, we never actually maxed out on spill points. That's uh, not a bad thing, but, you know, I just never uh, got around to getting them up to that higher level, I guess. Although, 80 was like plenty of spill points, so. Okay, we leveled, we leveled up, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it heal. And in the next episode, which should be the last one, we're going to head back to the final gauntlet and leave exile. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.